here, made it, Emicalilla State Park. We're at the visitor center right now. So these are the only people that were cool enough to do the actual approach trail that were staying at the Hiker Hostel last night. So gonna work our way in, sign in, etc. etc. And we will uh, be heading up. Beautiful morning. A fine 70 degrees. So this area might look uh, a little familiar to some, but How's it going? <laughs> going to sign in right now. <laughs> Talk a little funny, huh? All right, you guys are on the main. Yeah. It'll be easier to for you for that. I can't keep like this. So, like a pose? Let's do this. All right. <laughs> All right, so we begun. We're saying goodbye to the visitor center. We are now walking on the trail. So, we're at the base of the. Um, the Emicalola Trail, so little waterfall here. Going up that way, somewhere, wherever it is, I'm not quite sure, but we're heading up there. It's gonna be a good time. As you can see behind the lovely, lovely Emicalola Falls. You can only see part of it, though. And there's the rest. Just a couple steps. Nothing to worry about, not too steep. Continuing on, we are on the approach trail. Not too bad, a little bit of uh, ups and downs, but the terrain is, uh, is, is pretty good. Pretty uh, nice packed down ground, but pretty cool um, view around here anyway. You can see the mountains all around us in the distance. So, making decently good time, I suppose. Don't know exactly how far we've gone, but so far, uh, so good. So, continue on, it uh, hits Springer Mountain. We're now 3.4 miles from Springer Mountain. Got a nice little sign here telling us so. I'm on the lookout for water. I'm very thirsty. But nice trail so far. Um, not too bad. I can see why some people would you know, say it's pretty rough. A lot of dropping down, coming back up, but it's been uh, pretty solid so far. So. so after a lot of people lying to us about the mileage, Finally made it to the top of Springer Mountain. So we're here. The first white blaze on the Appalachian Trail. Beautiful. So the actual mountain up here is uh, got a really nice view. Took five hours ish um, up the approach trail, around four and a half, five hours. Uh, it was a good workout, good workout, but we made it. Drinking tons of water. It's it's hot today. It's very hot, and no tree cover. So we've been out with no clouds in the sky. So just been baking in the sun for the past four and a half hours. All right, we are wrapping up day one right now. We went um, about 12 miles, so we did the full approach trail up to Springer, and we made it down to Stove, I think it's Stove Creek, um, shelter and campsite. We got a fire going, ton of people here tonight. Um, not too many people at Springer. Um, the caretaker up there said, you know, everybody saw her online that, you know, Springer's always so busy, don't stay there, but now nobody stays there. So everybody's down here. She also said that there was a fire at, um, Blood Mountain and they're hoping that the rain takes care of that so it's a little scary but we'll um we'll see what happens so calling it a night tonight we'll check in again next time